the Tigers. Auburn is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll work the right side. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. After a decent run, call the game six yards. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Watch two, watch two. Mike five, Mike Red five. Two. Get it out. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Broke away from one, and down he goes, around the 37-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Red, two, go. It's the tailback. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 34. Four down, four down. Five to Mike. Again, he'll get the call. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 20. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. They come out in an empty backfield. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the eighth play of this drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Alabama is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Second down and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. That's good for They can't hear a thing down there. Throws left, the running back's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. He really got a hold of that one. 
He makes it to the 35 yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Alabama is up a field goal. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Lost a score on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. the middle and he stopped loss of three yards on the play third down man left man left four down four down five's the mic five's the mic red two blue 20 he lets it fly the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete can't ask for much more than a three and out great job defense that, that makes, makes it fourth and long. long. Booming kick. <laughs> that was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Alabama's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws middle of the tight end. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. rid of it quickly and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds this isn't even the best example but i'm going to tell you something this young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days they bring him to the backfield Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. The crowd really making it difficult. He's going to go for the home run. Can't make the grab. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. Try to change the field position with his kick. It's away and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that for both of these defenses so far. Alabama holds a field goal lead. And the 22-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Dog four. Green eight. Hey, motion back to him. Motion back to him. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Green 50. Kill, kill. Panther two. Got a man, watch out here. He goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Crimson Tide in front, 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. 
And he's tackled at the 35. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That brings him second and five. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Number 18, he intends on receiving on the Fourth down. And he's taken down at the 28. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Alabama is up by three. And he gets a yard on the run. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Here we go, here we go. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws it out there. Caught. Nope. It popped out. Incomplete. Number two. The intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Oh, excellent punt. Oh, man, did he take a hit. The Tigers know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around. And it starts up front with the offensive line. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. To his receiver, and he hits him hard at the 46. First down. They'll run it, and he's stopped behind the line. That makes it second and ten. Get to that quickly. And he's immediately tackled. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield.
Auburn is down three and looking to tie it up. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. Here's the... Nope, they snap into the outback. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. The momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama has a three-point lead. Intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Got it and brought down immediately. and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Complete. He's got room. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up first down. Mike five, Mike five. They got nine, green. And he's leveled the 39-yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Alabama is up a field goal. Two. Yellow three. Let's go. Hush, Yellow hush, hush, three. Oh. And he's going to be sacked. Oh. Now the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way, he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kick is away. It's long enough, and he hooked it left. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. I'm coming. I'm coming. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 48. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He heaves it deep. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. That's a great tackle at the 24.
Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 3-0, Alabama. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? Well, if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 33. Eight yards on the counter there. That makes it second and two. Again with a carry. Picks up the fumble. And he is drilled at the 34. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Alert cat. Alert cat. Check 37. Check 37. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. That's good for the yards. Here we go. First, First down. down. He's taken down at the 49. No good game of play. Here we go. Let's bring it. That makes it second. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Mike check 33. 33. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, kill. White 90. Shift. Watch the shift. No, that's it. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Call the game of 12 yards. First down. Tight down. Tight down. There you go. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Yeah, easy. Check, 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 check. Check 37. Check 37. Run, 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 run. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it from the 24-yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. First down. 
to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. So the score now, 7-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Mike five, Mike five. Red, go! Going deep, lays it out there. Missed it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Three down, three down. Mike five. Red two. Excellent. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the 26. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. We see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Auburn holds a four-point lead. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. They're about four yards away here on third down. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43-yard line. That's good for a game of 17 yards. First down. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Game of 16. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That makes it first and 10. Hey, easy, easy, blue now! Check, 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 check! Black A! Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. it out to maybe the 19-yard line. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an open. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Auburn is up by four. 
There's a strike complete. The five. Touchdown, Tigers. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 23-yard line, second down. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. 14-3, Auburn. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Green nine, green five, nine. Five. Yellow three. Steps up in the pocket. And he's tackled right away. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 45. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. That brings up second and one. seven-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. Good outside run there. for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here's the tight end. Drops. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Four down, four down. My five. Red, two. Screen to the back, no good. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. It's up. No good. He missed it to the line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at midfield. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Down. Yeah. Hey. 
Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? make the stop around the 30-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. It's on the ground. It's picked up by the offense. Alabama will have one timeout remaining. Second down and 11. Ball on the 31-yard line. They go with a run. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Alabama's called their final timeout. He fights forwards to about the 20. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Here's the eighth play of the series. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 14-3, Auburn. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Auburn comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.